Hi, I'm KEX Epinologist John Latimer. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Canada thistle. Canada thistle is uh, blooming right now. Some of these have gone to seed already and underneath these uh, brown heads there'll be puffs of white and if you watch you may see goldfinches coming and stealing that because they actually use it to line their nests since there is some uh, thought that goldfinches wait until the thistles actually begin to go to seed in order to make their nests. I don't know if that's entirely true or not, but you can watch them and see if you don't see goldfinches coming after the seeds. The Canada thistle can be told, identified from the, the bull thistle, which is our other major tall thistle here in northern Minnesota, by the color of the flower. This one you can see is sort of bluish pink, and the bull thistle is much redder much redder flower than this one. The other difference between Canada thistle and bull thistle is right here on the stem. And the stem of the Canada thistle, which I am holding here in my fingers, is completely free of the little pickers that make thistles thistles. Bull thistle, the stem and the leaves, both have those little prickler, prickers that are uh, so uh, irritating when you're, when you're playing around with thistles. But uh, Canada thistle, quite a bit different from the bull thistle in that it has no pickers on the, on the stems. The flowers are a bit more blue than the bull thistle. And Canada thistle seems to be more susceptible to Aster's yellows disease, which causes them, some of them, to turn pale yellow or, or nearly white at the top. And it's a, it's a disease that uh, affects thistles primarily, and the Canada thistle almost exclusively. I don't often see it on bull thistle. But if you're looking at thistle and you see one that looks like it's pretty white near the top, it's probably got aster yellows disease.